It's the most wonderful time of the year. That's right. It's time for, it's that time again. Time for the hashtag. Have yourself a hairy little Christmas. You might have noticed that I can sing. Lindsay can't really sing that well. Yeah, it's time for the uh, Christmas mini series that we do every year. And uh, we're kicking off. Not really kicking off, we're kind of easing off to uh, to a fun start because there are some people that, you know, misers, scrooges out there don't really get in the festive spirit quite as early as us. Um, so yeah, we're kicking it off, easing it off, sorry, with uh, with a very festive little restaurant challenge. Let's get it! <laughs> What a tune, The Smiths. Not a big fan of Morrissey, but I like this song. That really, that really suits you, darling. I got you well trained. You're gonna get it right this time. I'm not sure, which one are you doing? The festive wings. Hello. Good morning, all right. Yeah, can you do the festive wings challenge, please? Got it right. <laughs> Lindsay's got this weird thing about sniffing tinsel. What are you doing? You're sniffing tinsel again. So the mic is correct. When you say check one, two, that doesn't mean yes, that means that you're checking the mic. So is the mic okay? Mic check one, two, yes. Right, okay. All right, so we're at uh, Flaming Grill today doing the uh, festive wings challenge, but not just <laughs> one portion. These things are pretty easy, so I figured I'd double up. Tis the season. I'm gonna get the uh, timer going here. And let's kick off the series. Have yourself a hairy little Christmas 2019. Where, where can I put a timer? I need to put the timer somewhere. Let's get started. You'll be the bone inspector? Yeah. You'll be the bone inspector later on tonight, I tell you. <laughs> it is a bit quiet in here. <laughs> I'm pure butchering these wings. <laughs> <laughs> Man, these, uh, these innuendos gotta stop. <laughs> so welcome back, Beard Army, to another video. This one's actually colder because it came out first, so. Ooh, yeah, it's got a big hit of cranberry there. Ooh, yeah, <laughs> cranberry. Uh, yeah, this is the uh, festive wing challenge times two. 50 wings. Apparently. They're quite small wings though. Apparently. Oh. Clean well, as a whistle. Clean as a whistle, sharp as a thistle. Is it the wish? Wish I don't know where that came from. <laughs> Pulled that out of my uh, 18th century chimney sweep book of phrases. <laughs> but yeah, we're at Flaming Grill today doing two of their new uh, festive wing challenges. These trees are actually bigger than they look. Oh, if I were watching, I'd only have that experience in my life. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, she's trying to burn me good today. No festive cheer from Mrs. Beard. But uh, yeah, each one of these things is uh, 50 chicken wings. It's supposed to be 50, I don't know if that's perfect. It says two kilos of wings on the menu, accompanied by stuffing, uh, some pigs in blankets, cranberry sauce, and boozy cheese sauce. There'll be somebody out there saying that these wings aren't clean, I reckon. Yeah, there's always somebody from the wing police down there in the comments. You know who you are. Anyway, I, I don't know about the, the boozy sauce. I don't know exactly what's in that, but it did taste a little bit boozy. Maybe I should have just done one. This is, um, they're pretty big. Look at that. Don't say it. <laughs> going like a bring that technique to a bedroom or something like that. I know what you're going to say. With your own <laughs> <laughs> Is this supposed to be a family channel? I purposefully um, just ate the wings to see how much kind of Christmassy stuff you get. Like, you know, stuffing and bacon. You don't get that much. Yeah, I think we got Chef Ebenezer in back in charge of the festive trimmings on this thing because you don't get much stuff in, I'll tell you. I'm just gonna pile this. 
on top of here. Right, that's that's over, that's done. <laughs> Yeah, maybe I should have just done one. Whatever, I've been taking it easy lately, so. Just done one? Doth mine ears deceive me? You're getting soft in your old age, fella. I'm literally counting the wings at this point. <laughs> when you get a, a, a hit of cranberry, it's really, really nice, really refreshing. Oh yeah, the, the cranberry. Did I mention the cranberry? Not sure, but uh, you do get cranberry sauce with it. My only criticism is you don't really get enough, but it is nice. There's a guy just over there. Who I think he just gave up. He's doing a. He's not doing this challenge. I do other ones. I think you can do it. You can do it. Yeah. Needless to say, he did not do it, and uh, I'm not taking any blame. But I don't think that shout instilled much confidence in him. I think he left about half. He was. He was. Uh, he was confident at the beginning too. I am eleven. Yeah, obviously I'm not full, but I mean, the, the salt is just killing me. <laughs> I don't think it really works like that. Yeah, that guy was giving it big licks, and he's only doing one. Yeah, the the mic didn't quite pick up there, but Lindsay was saying to me that she finds it really funny when she hears people in restaurants, you know, where they offer a food challenge. When she hears people say that they're gonna, you know, they're gonna smash it, and that they eat tons of food. She thinks it's funny when she then, you know, sees them laying in the fetal position, crying for their mummies because they can't eat that much. <laughs> I've got all reliable here now. Diet Coke, this is going to get me through. A little bit of sweet relief. Oh yeah, this this Diet Coke was something else. It was heavenly. Because, I mean, this, this isn't the most food I've ever eaten, right? Don't get me wrong, but the salt was really starting to get to me, so I, you need something sweet to kind of balance it out, you know? These chicken wings are getting bigger. I don't know about getting bigger, but they certainly weren't uniform in size. And, and actually, I preferred the flats. I always prefer flats, right? But the um, the drums were a little bit too gooey for me. Well, on the whole, not bad, but a bit gooey. The first, the first ninety were were alright. Not that I've been. Uh, counting or anything but you know by this by this point I, I'm well and truly sick of the wings I'm looking forward to getting into the stuffing you know and the, the pigs in blankets and stuff I'm actually looking forward to trying some of the the other stuff not just the wings I'm just throwing bones at you at this point I don't know what I'm doing with this wing I've been eating these wings so long I'm forgetting how to eat wings Yeah, technique's gone out the window by this point, well and truly. There's one big fat wing, and then a smaller wing. That would be me if I was a wing, and that would be you if you were a <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Beard taking the mickey out of herself this week, all the trolls can have the night off. Thank God, this is the 100th wing. It felt like more than 100 to me. Maybe. Yeah, it felt a bit more laborious than 100, but I, who knows. Could you pass me a... Uh... No, I need... I'll just use my hands, it's cool. Why change the habit of a lifetime? It's not as good as the stuffing we made. And when I say we, I mean you. Yeah, it's gotta be said. I don't know if you've seen the video yet. Not that many people watched it, but the giant moist maker Thanksgiving sandwich, the stuffing in that was bang on. I've got to tell you, we're one episode into the Christmas series and I'm already sick of Christmas. <laughs> I'm just food drunk or something. Don't judge me on that. I'm, I promise I'm not sick of Christmas yet. Ding dong, merrily on high. Let's go home and eat some pie or something because this is, I'm sick and tired of wings and sausage and meat. Ugh. What did I say? I said we were easing into the Christmas mini series. Flying straight in there. 